Looking like he this does time, not, not so sure. Does not want to continue. So in the second pro fight, Joe Macy scores a second round knockout in his first fight three weeks ago in that big card at the Apollo Theater in New York City. Macy, a little nervous going in the first round, but uh, then settled down, loosened up. Joe Macy getting set. There is the referee, Ernie Sharif from Pittsburgh. And he brings both fighters to the center of the ring as we get set for our first bout of the uh, evening. You Count is jacked up. Instructions in the dressing all room. spout of four in the main event. Unified rules will be at used all time tonight. To at all time. Are there any questions? Nope. Four any bouts. Questions? No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee may stop at accidental cuts. They'll go to the scorecards after four rounds are complete. Well, Gary Winman is fighting his second fight with Pat Burns as his trainer. Pat Burns was one of the Olympic coaches in 1996, and he knows Joe Macy very well, so maybe, Teddy, you tip the strategy side in favor of Winman because his corner knows a lot more about Macy than Macy knows about Winman. Yeah, that's true, but that was back in the amateurs, Bob. Don't forget, he's improved a lot since then. He's been short a lot since then. And of course, his contact with Pat Burns was only minimal. This was just during a short stint in the Olympic camp. Macy almost made it to the Olympic team if you look at the knockout ratio. He lost to Lawrence Claybay in the Olympic trials, then beat Claybay convincingly in the box offs. That forced a third bout. Claybay stopped Macy in the first round of that final bout. Claybay made it to the Olympic team. Winman in great shape since he joined with Pat Burns. He was fighting somewhere in the mid 250s. 228 pounds for this fight, Teddy. He says that. Uh, He's worked on his endurance, his balance, nutrition, and he feels that he is ready to make a move here in the heavyweight division at the age of 28. He's got to make one quickly. Yeah, it's time for him to do it now. There's no doubt about it. He's got an undefeated kid in front of him. Whoa, Whitman got hurt. The condition can't change the chin, though. That's the one thing, and he has been knocked out. Whitman, that is, two times in his career. Mike Evans and Dave Dixon got it back at 93 and 94. Winman in some trouble here in round number one. Joe Macy trying to get the best win on his resume. And he's just attacking. Yeah, and he's going to the body there, which is smart. You have a guy hurt, go to the body, then back to the head. Good. Keep his head still. Good strong left jab by Macy. Nice combination. Just pummeling away. Referee Sharif looking in. And down goes Winman. Going down probably saved him in the way because he wasn't tied up and he was taking a lot of punches. So this is a 10-second or an 8-second retrieve here. Now he needs to tie up or at least get out of that corner. He's got 60 seconds to try to survive. And he makes it in that corner. He's going to get stopped. Yep. And there it is. It is stopped in round number one. Gary Whitman suffers his third stoppage. Lost. And Joe Macy out of Buffalo, New York, with an impressive effort. To pick up his 15th win as he comes out and he just pounds away at Gary Winman. Crowned by Adam Flores on April the 22nd. Jane 80 stays in the ring. Obey my command. He continues our referee. Don't let him hit on the bell line. Test plus nine. Let's go to work. Good luck.